Today I received this book, Surikenjutsu by Fujita Seiko, translated by Don Rowley. Got a little bent in the mail, but it's fine. Uh, basically, if you know what the original book was, the original uh, Shurikenjutsu by Fujita Seiko, it's a pretty awesome book. Danny didn't like it. Danny thought it was pretty basic, and I, that's true if, like, for most people in America, and probably most places in the world, actually, it's not basic to them, but for people who are Shuriken Sky, they, obviously, they would say, oh, yeah, this is basic stuff. Like, what's conveyed in this book is stuff that you, as a practitioner of Shuriken Jitsu, would... No, and it's, it feels like you're just reinforcing things you know and things that are meant to be kuden, like uh, Fujita says, are there. You understand them if you have experience practicing. But um, in any case, I still recommend that you buy it and buy the original if you can get it, because people have been hoarding it and the price has been going up and up and up. Um, and obviously the people who are driving that are people who want to affiliate themselves with Fujita Seiko. And we know who that is. So anyway, here it is. Shikinjutsu. Donna. Looks like you wrote a Ninpo Ikon there. And then uh, let's go into it. Table of Contents. Introduction. Who is Fujita Seiko? Front page of the original prologue. Toteki Buki. Toteki Bujutsu, which means, um, Toteki means things that are thrown at the enemy. Uh, aiming at the target, grasping the projectile. Throwing method, Toso, which are throwing spears. Uh, the points of Toso. Uchine, which is a, it's a thick arrow, like, um, similar, technically it could be the same thing, Nageya. Kind of similar, kind of different, but that's the idea. Uh, ways of holding the Uchine, throwing and striking with the Uchine. Chinese Sosen, which is... Um, it's like, it's kind of like a shuriken, it's like a bow shuriken, it's kind of like an uchine, it's kind of like a nagaya. It's, um, you keep it in your sleeve and, you know, you've seen, people who have seen Chinese weapons know what it is, is what I should say. Um, then what is shuriken jitsu? List of styles that have shuriken jitsu, shuriken jitsu densho, shapes of shuriken, various styles, uh, throwing spikes, shapes of various shuriken too, things that can be used like shuriken. Uh, the points of hitting with shuriken, how to practice with the shuriken part one, uh, standing, part two, sitting, and using the sword in combination with the shuriken. So basically, let me just go through here. Has a nice little biography on uh, Fujita Seiko here by Don. And it goes into what is basically a direct translation. Um, there's a few, yeah, like this shows the Techniques, uh, not good for looking at a webcam. Techniques for throwing the spear, which is something that's not really discussed because in Japan spears weren't really thrown that much, even though they, they actually were thrown, but um, the spear that we think of wasn't really thrown. And the technique for throwing a spear is pretty straightforward, but, you know, it's the same as uh, the technique of throwing a sword. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, it's the same as a Bujinkan technique of throwing a sword. Some people throw swords. Well, actually, I've seen in the Bujinkan people throw swords like that too. Throw a sword just like a regular cut, or you could take the ska and blade forward, throw it that way, or you could even do it one hand. Um, or you could do it from here. <laughs> There's lots of ways to throw lots of things, and a lot of it is in the book. But the, the main method that we're concerned with is from here. That's in the book with the proper alignment of the feet and the body and all that kind of stuff. That's in here. Obviously, people who have been training know that there's more than one way and obviously know this way and know many other ways, but this is a, a great introduction to how to do things like that. Um, let's see. Then there's stuff about the Uchine. Um, I like all the... Uh, the the basically the kata of using the uchine because that's something that really isn't discussed because it's 
just barely exists anymore, really. The, um, the Kamai, the emotions, the feeling of doing this, because this feeling that uh, Fujita Seiko discusses, it's the same as, like, Kanime no Daji, when you, um, when you're down to your last shuriken, and you actually move in, and you have that kind of thing, and it's talking about how it's not just, you know, I'm, oh, I'm stabbing you, or I'm throwing it like this, it's, everything is together, and he, he, uh, discusses, like, the gaze and the spirit and all that kind of stuff, where you ha this is, like, something that you, you learn when you're practicing Shuriken Jitsu, which is great. Um, ch -ch -ch, so we have all sorts of stuff on Uchine, which is great. Then it talks about, um, Shuriken Jitsu. And the different types, uh, Tomei Shuriken, which is uh, Shinobi Shuriken, uh, Seiteken, and uh, Ranteken, which these are defensive um, uses of Shuriken Jitsu. So, Shinobi Shuriken, uh, well, let me do it this way actually. Uh, Seki Shuriken is the opposite of that. I'll just do it like this. It's the attacking, it's Kaseken, Yakuken, and Dokuken. So, uh, Seiteken is. Um, using, some, like, uh, uh, when he talks about shinobi shuriken, it's using needles, uh, swords, kotsuka, uh, well, kogatana, technically, I should say, uh, kogai. Actually, that's another thing that I wanted to talk about. Uh, Don says kogashiri in here, and I think it said kotsuka in the, um, original, but kotsuka means, uh, well, kotsuka, obviously, but kotsuka is how it's written. Uh, I thought it said that in the original, which is the handle, but, you know, usually it's, Kogatana and Kotsuka, Kozuka, go, um, you know, in the sword and the uh, Kogai on the other side. But uh, he says uh, Kogashira, so I'm going to stick with Don on that one, because he knows more than me. So anyway, uh, this Seite Ken is throwing those types of things. Swords, Kogai, um, needles, whatever. Uh, Rante Ken. Obviously, with the with the kanji ran is throwing whatever you know. Uh, it says throwing a, a teapot, um, tongs. Um, uh, what the hell are they called? God damn it! How the hell did I forget that word? I have them, and I can't even remember what the hell they're called. Hibashi. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I actually had like a really nice pair of hibashi, and um, I gave them to Jason Witherspoon in uh, Australia before he died. They were, you could tell that they were meant to be shaken, the way that they were made, they were just amazing. And, uh, Kasuken, uh, it's like, it's a part of Seki Shuriken, he says, where you're throwing fire or a grenade or anything like that, you're throwing it at the enemy, which is, uh, just, <laughs> just all that kind of cool stuff. Uh, Yakuken is, uh, Fusatsu Hitono Ken which is a blade that's not meant to kill. I wrote this about in my, my, um, my WordPress. And that's basically uh, Meisubushi, using anything as Meisubushi. It could be using an actual shuriken as Meisubushi, or it could be using pepper, it could be using glass, it could be using anything. And then uh, Dokuken, obviously, poisonous blade. Hisatsu no Ken, uh, a blade for killing people. I don't even know what the hell else, I, did I even separate the two? I forget what I did. Uh, so, yeah, that's just, that's just all interesting stuff. That's stuff that people don't know. <laughs> I'm like eight minutes into, nine minutes into my video, and I barely discussed anything, because this book is just like, it's something that you have to buy. So, you know, this is just, the next section is all about the uh, Chishin Ryu, which is, uh, these guys. This is one Chishin Ryu blade. Heavy, big, fast, hits hard, you know, giant stuff, giant blades. So that it basically discusses the use, um, shows the targets that you want to hit, you know, says, uh, you know, the eyes, forehead, nose over here, throat, nipples, stomach, heart, everywhere basically. You know, and then what we have it goes into this part where it shows all the shuriken from all the different Ryu. Um, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it goes into the section about um, Horin. 
Uh, these, uh, what the hell's the other word for it? There's another word. It's not Horian, it's, um, uh, Vajra in, uh, Sanskrit. Um, I'm trying to think of Doko. So it has all the different types of Doko by, uh, you know, each school. Inken, Sanshu, Tariki, Gorin Kuraki, and, you know, the schools that are used by each. They're used, um, you know, like any other type of kopo or things like that, and then they're also thrown, but they're basically a handheld weapon. And then, you know, it goes on to show all the different types of shaken, all that kind of stuff, and the schools they're associated with. Well, that plane is low. Um, the juji, um, tatami juji, shuriken, you know, the schools that were used in each one, different names for each one, which is always good to know. Yeah, then there's more, all this kind of stuff. And the techniques, how to throw, all that, the, the path that we've seen in a few different books. Throwing sideways, throwing all this kind of stuff, finding the balance. Basic stuff that most people should know. How to throw Japanese kitchen knives. I assume most people don't know that. It's pretty easy though. Uh, the proper way to throw shuriken, the way that people like Greg and Chris and all those people don't know how to do. Then, you know, building, con construction of targets, all that kind of stuff. Basic stuff like that. Different uh, kata, basically. Throwing from being seated. Then moving on. Oh, remember this one? I made that video about dancer pants, and he said that uh, shuriken weren't carried that way. That was when you went to the shuriken range, because they had like a shuriken range, like they have gun ranges. And, uh, you know, if it got stuck, you would pull them out that way. That was his uh, thing. And I was wrong, and you can't wear a shuriken like that. Even though I demonstrated that you could. So, uh, that was a good one from the days of yore. I wonder if that guy's still around. Or if he killed himself like you pretended to do on uh, Pal Talk. So, yep. And then, you know, the usual sword techniques. Throwing from the different uh, positions, you know, you have your shuriken all there. I wish that video was still online. Um, I think this is the kata of uh, Nageshiryu. The Ippon Mei, Nihon Mei, Samba Mei, Yonhon Mei, Gohon Mei. Yeah, this is uh, Nageshiryu. And that's about it. Buy this book. This is, you know, buy this book. Buy Danny's book, obviously. If you can find it, This book is also good. Shurikendo by Shurikami Ikuken. Um, I forgot if Otsuka Sensei still sells this. Yeah. This. 2011. But, definitely buy this book. Um, I'll post a link to Don's site. Buy it. Practice, practice, practice. With someone who knows what the hell they're doing. Um... That's about it. Can't go wrong with anything that Dom makes. This was a long ass video. And I didn't even discuss half the crap. But that's why you buy the book.